On Saturday, October 1st, Purdue Dance Marathon hosted their first ever color run starting at ross Aid Stadium. So everyone starts up there at the second stop sign and then runs down through campus, um, back down Lindenburg, up Cherry Lane and then back down the side of ross Aid. Um, the first mile and a half is all watered down temper paint to help the powder stick. Um, I guess the rain would have helped, but we didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, and the second mile and a half is all powder, so your classic color run powder. This year's Purdue Dance Marathon 5K had over 200 participants, which is an increase from the PU Dim 5K last year. Not only were there student participants, but local Riley families were in attendance as well. Are you actually, why are you doing this? Because I'm going to run. Why are you going to run? I don't know. For who? Riley. For all the other Riley kids? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> she's running for all the other Riley kids who can't be here this morning, so it means a lot. These kids mean a lot to us. Um, we've gotten very close to a lot of them, and it's just a, it's a lot of fun. It comes to everything like Purdue, real, like everything Purdue Dam related. She does push-ups every day and puts it on Facebook, like days until the marathon, like counting down. So she's her and her family are super into it, and they come to everything we do. With PUDM being a month early this year, hosting the 5K did have some challenges. Um, so we used to have an event sponsored by PESC that was Paint Wars, so it was like Paint Dodgeball, and we had a 5K. This year, because of like the marathon being a month earlier, there was a lot more of condensing of the schedule, so um, color runs are like the thing nowadays. So we thought that we would combine both of the events into one, um, which became the color run this year. The dance marathon is October 22nd, starting at 6 p.m. in the Corec, and ends October 23rd at noon. If you are interested in participating, you can register and donate at PUEDM.org. Molly Shaughnessy, Fast Track News.